pot roast. It's been around forever. Grandmas have been making it, some of our moms and dads have been making it. I'm not convinced it has to suck. So today I'm gonna to show you a few amazing tricks. It's time to level up your pot roast. My mom, the other day, what is pot roast? She said, it's chuck with potatoes and carrots and you put it in a pot and walk away. So here's our chuck. I have that, so I won't disappoint her. However, if you know your cuts of meat, uh, you'll know that you can pretty much braise or pressure cook any tough cut. So I've got a few tough cuts here. These are veal shanks, osobuco. Short ribs are everywhere these days. I love them for barbecue, for braising, um, even just cutting them thin, like Colby style. Uh, but today, since you can find the chuck roast anywhere and everywhere, I'm gonna show you how to do an amazing upgraded pot roast with chuck. Our veggies. We're not going to put them in the beginning with the meat like you normally would. We are going to wait until the end because I want my potatoes to be firm but not mushy and falling apart. Carrots, nice and bright orange and sweet. And I want my celery to be bright green and snappy and super fresh. However, the onions, and I brown them when I sear the meat and pressure cook them with the sauce. All my veggies for my pot roast. Let's talk about our equipment. So we're gonna use a pressure cooker because it's the fastest way to get an amazing tender pot roast. However, there are some other added benefits, some of which are developing amazing flavors that you can't get otherwise. Like, have you ever noticed how canned tomatoes usually taste better than your average fresh tomato that you get? Shall we? First step is searing the meat. You're gonna develop lots of flavors, get a nice developed crust on the meat, and that's going to just make a really nice, rich pot roast. Uh, like I said, our onions, we're gonna caramelize those in the sauce. Here's the other thing I don't know if grandma used to do. Engineered by scientists themselves straight out of the Midwest, ranch powder. Basically just like spices and MSG, it's crazy good. You can add whatever you want, like we said. I'm gonna add a little bit of A1. It's got a lot of nice flavor in there. Here's my magic sauce beef broth, buy a low sodium one or a sodium free one and concentrate it. So just put it in a pot and boil it down until it's glazed. Put the meat in. And then we bring it to pressure. To the Usually I don't do this, I just walk away and go do something else. Ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! Look how good that looks. That's what I love. Look how dark brown and bubbly it is. Oh my god! We are going to add our vegetables. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna pressure cook our carrots and our potatoes for about five to eight minutes. It's gonna come back to pressure immediately. All righty, potatoes, carrots are done. Celery doesn't really need to cook like we talked about, just a quick steam. So here's what I'm gonna do. Sprinkle it in, push it down a little bit, lid back on, just for a second. Believe it or not, that will cook the celery just fine. I'm going to chop up some parsley, you don't have to do this, but I love fresh green in the end of pretty much everything. I'm gonna call it ready. Parsley. Oh my God. Dude, those potatoes look good, carrots look good. Big hunk of meat in the middle. It's pot roast. You know what I like about this right now? Is it looks super not fussy, you know, and it isn't. You've got all the romantic flavors and ideas of pot roast, but it's 
in my opinion, a lot tastier. Oh yeah, also, it's gonna be super hot. Yeah. Oh my god. Hot. I'll do one more chunk of meat for this one. Yeah. Paros. <laughs>